Julian Bauscher, Museum of London Archaeology. The excavations at the theatre were not as extensive as those at places like the Rose, so we don't have as many artefactual finds. But what we have got is a small selection of items used probably by the audience rather than the actors, um, such as this drinking goblet, which actually could have been used for beer, wine, or even water, actually. It's a fairly common item. It's made out of local ceramics. It's, it's yesterday's plastic, if you like. Um, and the same sort of thing happens with this small fragment, uh, which everybody likes because everyone thinks it's Shakespeare, but it's actually a pretty um, generic uh, human form. Um, it's part of a large bowl, which would have been for serving foodstuffs for the audience. Um, at the Rose, we found quite a few state pennies but there was very, very little from the theatre site. And we do have one small English token, which is really worth very, very little. You'd probably have to use a few of those to get in. At the Rose, definitely, we found a cannonball, and we think we have one here from the theatre. And what they used these for was taking it up behind the building where they'd have a wooden trough, and they'd just roll it down. and. I don't know if you, can, if you can hear that. That's the sort of effect it would have to create the sounds of thunder or a storm. Um, and we have various references to that. So it's quite exciting to have something representing special effects, Elizabethan special effects.